Bonjour, mino kishi babogan, Katie Nadeshnikas. It's Katie here again. Good morning. I am so lucky that I again have some special helpers to help me with this week's episode. Got Alice, mm -hmm. Emily. Thanks for helping me today, girls. So, girls, have you ever had homemade ice cream? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Have you at home ever had homemade ice cream? Maybe. Well, I'll tell you what. Today, our episode is all about ice cream. And we're going to teach you how to make it. It's so easy to make at home. You only need a few ingredients and some Ziploc bags. Okay, I'm going to tell you what you need. You need one cup of milk. You could use cream if you have it, but just regular milk works fine as well. You need some vanilla, just a little splash will do ya, and about a quarter cup of white sugar. And it's fun if you want to try putting like some chocolate chips in your ice cream, you could, but today we're just going to make plain vanilla just to try it out. Okay, so we're going to make this in a Ziploc bag. So. I'll explain to you how that works. You have one Ziploc bag and inside it we're going to put all of our milk, our sugar and our vanilla. We'll seal it up and we'll put it in another Ziploc bag just for safety, just like to make sure it doesn't leak. And then we use a big Ziploc bag and inside that we put a bunch of ice and some salt. And the salt helps the ice melt it makes the water really cold and it goes on top of the ice cream mixture and freezes it to make ice cream. So thanks Emily. Today we have pickling salt. This is a really coarse salt that is used mostly when you make pickles. And girls, do you know what the word coarse means? Nope. Okay, what about the word fine? Nope. Nope. Okay. I well, coarse salt is when it's in big chunks. Fine salt is when it's like a really smooth powder, like maybe a sugar, like that. So coarse salt is better. So here's a really important safety tip, though. Sometimes some adults have something called de-icing salt. It's really coarse, really big chunks, and you use it on your driveway or your steps or your path to your house when it's icy. It makes it so it's not slippery. Please don't use that salt. That is a poisonous type of salt. And even though we're not going to eat this and it's not going to touch our ice cream, we're going to be very careful. We never put any non-edible stuff close to our ice cream. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense, girls? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. let's start making the ice cream. The girls did a great job of getting the ice cream ready. We added a little extra ice. And now we've made sure all the bags are sealed really closely, like really tightly so they don't leak out. But just keep your eye on it when you're doing it. 
And when you're making the ice cream, maybe don't make it over a carpet or something or a couch that, that would be really hard to clean if the water or the ice cream leaked out. Now we're gonna play catch. So the ice cream shakes around inside the Ziploc bag with the ice around it and it slowly starts to freeze. This is the fun part. So our ice cream is all scooped and ready to go. It looks good. Let's try it, girls, and see what it's like. Mmm. Mm. Vanilla-y. It's good. It's watery. Mmm. I hope you'll try making ice cream at home with the Ziploc bag. Thanks for watching. Me and Wonka Wabaman. about making ice cream is make sure you don't have too much fun because sometimes you get a hole in your Ziploc bag. So we'll put it in another Ziploc bag to make it extra strong. Just remember to use lots of eggs in case it leaks like ours did.